In this lesson, you will learn how patterns are used to traverse the graph using relationships. Let's review patterns in the graph and how they are key elements of Cypher. Here's a Cypher pattern. In Cypher, nodes are represented in parentheses and the dash arrow represents the directed relationship between nodes. What this Cypher pattern represents is all nodes in the graph that have a relationship to other nodes in the graph. For example, this node has relationships to two other nodes in the graph. Here is a Cypher pattern where we specify a label for a node. We use the colon label syntax to represent all movie nodes in the graph that have a relationship from other nodes in the graph. For example, this person node has a relationship to two different movie nodes in the graph. Because in our pattern we specified the movie label for the two end of the relationship, we can also use this pattern to retrieve both user and person nodes that have a relationship to movie nodes. If we specify labels for both sides of the relationship, we retrieve only person and movie nodes that are related to each other. In our Cypher pattern, we have not specified a relationship type, so this pattern will retrieve nodes that are related, but with any relationship. If we want to retrieve only nodes with a specific relationship, we specify the relationship type in the pattern. We use the square brackets containing colon relationship type for specifying the relationship. So this pattern will retrieve person nodes that have the acted in relationship to movie nodes. The most important cipher clause you will use is match. Match retrieves nodes from the graph using the pattern you have specified. Most cipher match clauses use variables. The variables here are P and M, and they represent references to the person and movie nodes that are retrieved in the match clause. You use variables when you want to use these node references later in the query processing. The return clause returns the values retrieved from the graph. In this case, we return a person node and two movie nodes. You can specify a filtering criteria for your queries against the graph. Here we use the WHERE clause to specify that we want to return the node with the name property of Tom Hanks. Suppose this graph had two movies that Tom Hanks acted in. This query would retrieve the Tom Hanks node and then traverse the acted in relationships to return the two movie nodes. Now let's see traversals in action. Suppose we want to find all movies that Tom Hanks acted in. Here is the query. It finds the person node for Tom Hanks and then traverses all relationships from Tom Hanks to other nodes in the graph. It returns the titles of all nodes retrieved. If our graph had different labels, for example, television nodes and movie nodes, this query would have returned all television and movie nodes that Tom Hanks acted in. If we wanted to limit the nodes retrieved to be only movie nodes, then we could use this query. Our movie graph contains only movie nodes, so this query returns the same results. In the next challenge, you will query the graph by traversing relationships. This concludes our look at how patterns are used to traverse the graph using relationships.